Hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's perspective for January 3rd, 2018. I want to come before you a few moments um, and talk about the gifts that we all have. God has given every human being, every living person, good morning Terrell, every breathing soul gifts. We all have them. And, and so I entitled this one, Don't Diss the Gift. Do not disrespect your gift because I saw this earlier this week and it's like ding, 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 perspective. Um, sometimes if we are doing our thing and the numbers are small, we play small. We don't go all out. We don't, we don't put every ounce of our being into it if the numbers don't match what you had in mind. Especially in today's world where, you know, in this technology world, in this social media world where everything is, you know, I have 15,000 followers or I got 40,000 likes and 2,000 shares. And okay, in that world, and, and, and growing up in that mindset, sometimes if the numbers are not big enough, we play it down, we play it small, we don't go all out. And that is an, that, that's a problem because when God gives us a gift, what we do with it is his return. What we do with it, how we grow it, how we use it, how we give it to others is the plan that's why he trusted us to give it to us and sometimes um and it doesn't matter what the gift is or where the gifting is in what arena if you teach if you cook if you have a thing for numbers and you are a cpa or an accountant if you speak if you sing what if you are a gifted mechanic you fill in the blank with whatever gift it is if you are a mother Okay, I, I thought about that because I saw my baby sister on there. Hey, Ronnie. So listen, whatever the gift is that God has given you, whatever your talents and, and um, experiences that he has led you to to help build who you are, do not disrespect that gift by, well, you know, I'll, I'll really go all out when there's a huge crowd out there. Even if you got enough sense not to say it out loud because it sounds arrogant and you don't want to be seen as arrogant. It sounds audacious, like you only perform when there's, you know, big numbers in the house. Even if you have enough sense not to say that, your actions can say it loud and clear. You only, you only appear to care about those that, that work for you, that work with you when your boss comes around and then you act in all concerned and, and oh yes, and how's your, ch okay. Everyone can see right through that. Everyone can see right through that. Hello, hello, hello for all who are joining me. So listen, it is, I am encouraging you, especially as we start the new year, that you go all in with whatever gift that you got, whatever gift you have. It's yours, it was given to you. And so don't disrespect the gift by only showing up and being present when the numbers are there, when someone is watching that you think is someone. You never know who is watching. You never know who is listening to you. It could be one somebody, and there but three people out there. It could be one somebody that leads you to something that leads you to something. Hey, Tanya. And so, so my encouragement is to you, when you're on, be all in. This waiting for the important people to show up, Something was supposed to start at 8 a.m. And because you don't see so-and-so in the audience, you're, not, you're going to delay and delay and delay. That's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. And if God cannot trust you with the three out there, how dare we beg and plead for 300, for 3,000, for 30,000? We don't rate that because we haven't been respectful. We didn't bring all of who we are to the three that showed up. Tanya, I can hear you saying that. <laughs> I can hear you saying that right now. And so, so that's my encouragement to you because the other flip side of disrespecting the gift that you have and disrespecting the audience that you've been given is to, it's another form of disrespect if you have the gift and you do nothing with it. 
You just try to rely on your natural talents, your natural, what, what you were given with, what you were born with, and you do not hone it. You do not increase it. You do not stretch it. You do not challenge it. You won't even halfway listen to your coach because you got it going on. And so, so I'm just encouraging you to be mindful of the gifts, of the talents, of all the experiences that you have that make you magic, that make you who you are. The gift was never for you. It was to go through you to other people. We don't, you know, we don't give gifts to hoard them off on ourselves. We give them to bless, to encourage, to strengthen, to empower others, to instruct, to teach others. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to encourage you once again because I'm seeing it a lot. And it's not a young person's thing. It's for anybody who falls into that mindset of, oh, well, the important people aren't there yet. So, oh, that's not a big enough role. That's just a commercial. Okay, well, I won't go out for that. That's only got two scripts. Where's my solo part? Okay, you don't rate to get bigger and better and more until you respect who is currently out there, until you respect who's in there, because you don't know who's in the audience. You never know. Okay. Don't diss the gift. Hey, Dr. Stephanie. Hello, hello, hello for all who are joining. So that's it. That's what I got for you. I'm going to encourage you to do not disrespect the gift. Go all in every time, all the time with whatever lane you find yourself. Don't hold back and play it small because the numbers look small. That's disrespectful. Until next time, take real good care of yourselves. Have a wonderful Wednesday.